thought I should talk to John Entang, a U.S. media expert. I was a network television producer for 20 years with NBC News, ABC News. I was Tom Brokaw's producer at NBC and head of documentaries there. At ABC, I was investigative producer for 2020 um, and Primetime Live. And the last 20 years, uh, in a writing career that focuses on this nexus of public policy, uh, media, and NGO advocacy is one of the um, uh, unexamined areas uh, that creates the kind of narratives, shapes the ethics of the way we talk about uh, news issues, uh, including the whole shale gas um, uh, crisis, if you could so to speak, and the crisis is really in media coverage, not in the danger that uh, shale gas presents to the United States or the world. The scary part in this debate is that the, the media, the ones, the influence medias, the New York Times, the, the networks, they've adopted the entertainment style of Josh Fox. It's all about pictures that evoke this kind of anger and image. It's like trash journalism. There was a series of articles by the New York Times essentially saying shale gas was overblown, that there was a lot of skepticism within the industry, that its carbon footprint was far greater than even coal. A series of, uh, essentially, that if, if those things were true, no reasonable-minded person w could support shale gas. It was echoed across the, um, the Internet, headlines in newspapers around the world discussed in Parliament. Why? Because when the New York Times reports something, the regular media considers that it's been vetted, that it's factual. In this case, it hadn't been vetted, and when someone did look at it, the ombudsman, he was horrified. He came out with two Sunday New York Times reports in two consecutive New York Times issues, unprecedented, hadn't been done in the history of the New York Times, literally dressing down his own paper's coverage of natural gas, saying it was biased, manipulative, cherry-picking of the facts, getting key facts wrong. Literally, it's the kind of thing that should have gotten the key reporters on natural gas fired. And the only reason they weren't fired is because it literally was indicting the entire editorial department. So it would have been a, literally a, a major house cleaning because their coverage was literally unethical. You're not overreacting a bit. I mean, this is just, this is good theatrical journalism. There's no real world consequences. I mean, it's, it's fun to watch. It may be fun to watch, may be entertaining, but there are enormous public policy consequences. The goal of the anti-shale gas industry, and make no bones about it, that's what it is, is to stop shale gas development now and for the future. They're not looking for better regulation. They're not looking for um, more sophisticated technology to make this more efficient. They're attempting to stop progress in its tracks. Shale gas is a, a gift from God, and if we let hysteria drive regulation, if we let politicians uh, essentially set the ground rules for what should be a science-driven enterprise, we're going to set the American economy and the world economy back 50 years. Paleolithic area, that's what we're going for.